All right, here we go. The world tour continues. Welcome to Dublin, to Ireland, my 44th country. We're gonna be spending two full days in Dublin. I honestly don't know one person that's ever been to Ireland, like out of any of my friends. So it's gonna be cool. <laughs> no one like had any wrecks for me, nothing. It's gonna be cool to explore, meet people, learn a little about Ireland. So we are headed to Grafton Street and the street is known for having a lot of people performing street music. They said even Ed Sheeran performed on this street before he got famous. That's what legend says. So let's go check out Grafton Street. this we got this busy place with all these different restaurants and then just a huge church at the end of the street that's how all these streets are out here in Dublin oh I heard this is actually a solid spot Xi'an street food we're trying our first food item in Ireland I see this in a lot of reviews on Google I gotta try a spice bag so this is it we got the spice bag we got french fries chicken a lot of different spices they say it's secret spices and this was around nine euros so this is like the quick fast food very popular out here in Ireland my friend from Cork City he had an open table I just sat down next to him this place is busy it looks, it looks spicy is it spicy it is. oh man <laughs> look at this all right we got the fries I'm gonna get the fries some chicken in one bite First bite, spice bag, Ireland meal. It's pretty spicy. <laughs> More spicy? Yo, y'all crazy. <laughs> crazy. Dude, we've been trying to eat this. It's been like 15 minutes. <laughs> it's huge. Shout out the spice bag. You literally can eat this and be full for the whole day. It's honestly not too spicy. It was just like the first bite and then I started eating more and more of it. But really solid fast food option. Definitely recommend getting a spice bag. And you can just sit and meet random people because this place is so busy. Oh man, that spice bag got me filled up. So all right, we're going to go explore some more. I'm going to go check out the Dublin Mosque. I saw it on Google. It looks really cool. And I'm trying to find mosques in every single country in the world. So we're going to go check out the Dublin Mosque. It's about a 30 minute walk away from here. It's the only thing that's far. Of course, right when we get here, it starts raining like crazy. But we're here at the Dublin Mosque. I'm going to try to go inside. This is amazing. So it used to be a cathedral converted into a masjid and they got a whole area here. They got grocery stores, they got restaurants. It's a really awesome community. We're okay, here, okay. the Dublin Masjid. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Hey. MashaAllah. So this is the inside of the masjid. The stained glass windows used to be an old cathedral. See a love there. But you can tell it's a really, really old building. The wood rooftop was really awesome. So I met him at the masjid. Man, amazing man. Alhamdulillah. And take me to a, this other mosque in Dublin. Look Allah at Akbar. Allah Akbar. Look how. Allah <laughs> I'm gonna show you all this other mosque. This other mosque is. Yeah. Islamic Cultural Center of Ireland. I'm honestly shocked. I did not think a mosque would be this big out here in Ireland. It is huge. He said it. Very, very huge. Look, look. I'm gonna flip the camera. So it's huge, and he said it's way bigger on the inside. So here, whole grocery store, halal kitchen. Restaurants. Oh, they got good food, man. They got curry, shishtawuk, pizza, burgers, yeah, everything. <laughs> the good desserts. Jalebi, jalebi. Oh, they got Om Ali. Wow. Allah, this is a huge masjid. All right, so we came back to the city center area. Man, it is so packed. So, so, so packed. Look at this, a Saturday night. 
everyone is out here. Streets of Dublin. Honestly, late night, there, all there is is just a bunch of pubs. So I'm just walking around exploring. But I think I'm gonna call it a night because tomorrow we gotta wake up early. Tomorrow we got a lot to do. Day two in Dublin. It's gonna be a really fun day tomorrow. So I'm gonna see y'all later. Good morning. Welcome to day two in Dublin, Ireland. We've got the Irish music. It's kind of fire. I'm gonna shazam it. Soldiers in Ireland. <laughs> so we're crossing from the north to the south and the way to get there is you have to cross this bridge right here. So basically it was built in the early 19th century and for the first hundred years people used to have to pay half a penny just to cross the bridge to go to the south of Ireland. Which is really cool. I don't know. I find it super interesting. And now you can just walk on it. You don't need to pay half a penny. But there we are so this whole area the south is the temple bar district and then the iconic college is over there so a lot of the good stuff a lot of the touristy stuff is in south dublin so let's go cross so we're just walking around temple bar it's like 10 a.m on a sunday all these people are drinking it's crazy ireland life like take a look this is how it is the way of life in dublin oh my god <laughs> They don't stop. I was walking through here last night, like midnight, just as packed. Got the little leprechaun hats, Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I was walking around, I'm walking around to my next place and I randomly came across this Latvian culture day spot. Pretty cool, just like in the middle of the city center. They even have a bunch of booths. You get Latvian clothes, Latvian items. I love the hats. Yo, those are cool hats. So next we're checking out the Christchurch Cathedral, Dublin. And this is the oldest medieval cathedral in Dublin. Wow. Wow, this was built in the year 1028. Imagine just walking around in like the year 10.30, walking around here. Even if you don't go inside, it's so impressive to see this from the outside. Dude, 10.28. So I walked in, it's like $10 to explore. Um, and I don't have time to explore because I have something booked in 30 minutes. We are going to Trinity College, the famous Book of Kells. They say this place is like Hogwarts. So we're gonna head there. It's like a 25 minute walk away. We're walking to Trinity College now, but on the way we had to come look at the St. Patrick Cathedral. So this is like the most famous cathedral in Dublin and Ireland. And they also have a whole park here. It's like a St. Patrick Park. It's pretty solid. I would go explore inside, but don't have too much time because we got to go to Trinity College and then we got a game today. But Dublin life, man, these cathedrals are stunning, like really stunning. All right, we made it. We made it to Trinity College. It's right here in the center of Dublin. We're gonna go explore. This is such a nice campus already and we just entered. Honestly, college is here. I can tell in Europe we're gonna be way nicer than America. Cause this is like, this is really beautiful. So right over here, you turn right at the entrance and this is the famous library. You gotta buy tickets in advance. It's sold out. I bought one like two days ago, so I'm good. But if you go try to buy one today, there's no way. So all of this is facts about the Book of Kells and it's basically the world's most famous medieval script and all the people here are reading the information of book of kells i have no clue how to read any of this but we're gonna go into the long room after this it's a very famous library over 200,000 books they say it's like the real life hogwarts jk rowling actually used it as inspiration for hogwarts so i'm excited to see that all right we are entering the long room this is so nice it's literally like Real life Hogwarts spiral staircase. Man, this is the nicest library I've ever been in. I would vlog more, but everyone's so quiet. Right on there, there's a 
gift shop. You can see the long room. Trinity College, man, this place is so popular that they got a whole gift shop. So we just got done with the Book of Kells. We're gonna leave and leave this beautiful university, Trinity College. And if I go back to school, I'm coming here. <laughs> Yo, I actually came back to the spice bag spot. I'm getting one on the go because this walk is long. So we're gonna get another spice bag doing it takeaway. That's the real way. You see everyone in the streets having it in Dublin. So let's get it. Spice bag round two. I just got the spice bag to go and they filled this up. Look how much is in here. It's literally way more food than the one I had. First bite, taste test. That's fresh. Yo, I swear this is probably the, like the best thing to get in Dublin. I even asked a bunch of locals, they're like, get a spice bag, don't even worry about anything else. So, quick little bite. So we eat in this and we walk into the stadium now. Let's go. I don't know why, but spice bags taste so much better, literally in the bag. These are hitting right now. If I was in Ireland for a few more days, I'd literally get one every single day. Shout out spice bag. This is must must taste when you're in ireland i finally found something that's like okay this is dope i need to try this when i'm in ireland so here's the stadium welcome to croke park the third biggest stadium in europe i'm ready to go something is telling me i'm gonna be like the only non-irish dude there <laughs> but this is gonna be so fun so i know like the top two sports are hurling and gaelic football but I've never even watched either of them. This is a big deal here. I only got my ticket for $20. <laughs> Let's go see what this is about. I feel like it's gonna be lit. Like knowing how Irish people get rowdy, it's gonna be cool. This place is literally what I was thinking of when I thought of Ireland. It's straight only Irish people everywhere. This is insane. Gaelic football time. So this is actually the semifinals. Whoever wins this goes to the finals. And I'm going for my team, Dublin. We out here repping Dublin. It's gonna be fun. I've heard I've heard of Gaelic football. I've just never watched it. So we're gonna see how they play it. The iconic Croke Park. The game is gonna start soon, 4 p.m. It's my first time here. Oh, let's go! We got some smoke bombs going out out here. We got Dublin versus Kildare. It's Kildare, right? Yeah. yeah. Fans are ready. The game's about to start soon. This is going to be a vibe. So this is like the kill their side. Kill there's the red team. Dublin is the blue team. Let's do this. So this is how you score. You got to put the ball through this goal here. There's a goalkeeper. They even got some goal posts. You can kick it through up there. And it's a round ball. It's not like an oval ball. Like Australian football and regular American football. What's up? That's a model camera in it. YouTube. <laughs> who you got? Who you got? Dublin. This is Dublin? Yeah. Yeah. You Dublin. Yes. I'm going Dublin. <laughs> where, where are you from? We got the Irish anthem. Yeah. in Ireland, man. <laughs> I never thought I'd be here. <laughs> oh, he got crossed. Oh! Ah. Man's got a free kick. Oh! Dang! What a bad kick. That was bad. <laughs> So if you get it in these posts, it's one, it's one point. And the goal is three. And this one is three right yeah. here. So the score is 7-6, Dublin down one point. But it's 35 minute halves, so we're about to see a second half. It's actually pretty fast pace. It's fun to watch, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for second half. I want Dublin to start balling out though, so the fans can get crazy. And we're going for Team Dublin. Yeah. All right, second half starting. The energy is lit. They got the Irish music out here. <laughs> Man. I'm shocked that they are. I mean, I fuck off, 
times <laughs> the dude next to me was like the funniest guy ever but shout out dublin got the dub going to the ship what an experience that was dope i'm officially a fan of gaelic football if you come to ireland you have to try to come when there's a gaelic football game that was an experience i honestly felt like i was immersed in the ireland like the full ireland experience when i was here that was fun I bet they're all gonna go to that pub now and drink. That's gonna be packed. That's literally where they're all headed to. Man, Dublin, Ireland. Honestly, really fun time. Day two was super fun. I'm just walking around the park now. Probably just gonna walk around, enjoy the last few bits of my time in Ireland. But thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we go on to country number two next up in Europe. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.